Today, three world gymnastics powers look to paint their own portrait on a nearly blank canvas. What will they create? China. This ancient culture cultivates the most innovative young team in gymnastics. Building with routines that point to the future. This is the Chinese ladies team. United States. The experience of Dominique Mochianu, a veteran and an Olympic champion. She leads five others who aspire to be America's future stars. Romania. Their gymnastics legacy has shaped a dominant team every four years since Nadia. Now, two-time Olympic medalist Gina Gojin leads Romania's latest. Cincinnati, Ohio, Tom Hammond, Elfie Schlegel, Tim Daggett, and Beth Ruyak, ready to bring you women's competition in the 1997 International Team Gymnastics Championships. Today, we'll get a glimpse of the future of international women's gymnastics. Many young hopefuls competing today. This is a team-only competition. No individual all-round title up for grabs. Dominique Mochiano is here. She'll be competing only in beam and floor exercise. And Gina Gojin of Romania, silver medalist in the all-around Atlanta, will also be in competition this afternoon. The young Chinese team looking to perhaps make a name for themselves here early. Six athletes on each team. Five compete on each apparatus. Four of those scores will count. Now for the United States, Jamie Dancher. She's only 14 years old, but was second in the all-around at the American Classic earlier this year. Jamie actually trains with Vanessa Atler, who we remember from the American Cup. Nice job. Okay, exactly the same. Squeezing in, a little bit straighter on. You can pop it a little more than that. Right. There's her coach, uh, Steve Rybacki. What he said about Jamie, it's interesting. He says she trains better than she competes, and he's really hoping that this year will be her coming out party. A lot of Olympians have chosen not to compete internationally. We would really like to see her make the national team. But you know, Elfie, this was much better than I saw her do in training prior to the competition. She deals with this quite well. This fault comes out of a 9.8. And 9.375, the score for her first vault. Remember, they are averaged second vault coming up. She'll perform the identical vault once again, just try to eliminate that step on the landing. I'll tell you, it was pretty identical from the first vault, but I was a little nervous. Her hand placement on the horse wasn't as exact as it should have been. She didn't really get a good bump off the horse. A fairly flat vault. Now for Romania, on bars, Erica Boncina of Romania. I said this team was inexperienced. She has never competed on the podium before. All right, Eddie got it. trouble up at the top. In fact, I think she hit her foot on the low bar and fall on the landing. Wow. These are not great routines. In fact, we said that it's one of their weakest events. They're, they're quite compulsory. They seem to all do the same thing. Rocky start for the Romanians, but for the U.S., Dancher 9.337. We'll be back to Cincinnati.
NBC Sports World is brought to you by John Hancock, worldwide Olympic sponsor. Insurance for the unexpected, investments for the opportunities. By the owners, managers, and crew who proudly call the McDonald's in your neighborhood, my McDonald's. And by Radio Shack, you've got questions, we've got answers. Welcome back to Cincinnati, where the first rotation continues. Dominique Mociano just watching this rotation, passing on this apparatus, sitting next to Marta Caroli, who is her coach, along with her husband, Bella. And Gina Gojin of Romania, their accomplished Olympic veteran, passing this first rotation as well. The Romanians continue on bars. Here's Corina Ungaranu. Well, this is a must do routine. She needs to hit this one. And unfortunately, her start value is quite low. It's only out of a 9.4, so she has to hit solidly. Her teammate Boncina had only an 8.3 on this apparatus. It's a nice sequence right here. Unbelievable. Hi, my departure. Hi. And we may be happy we don't know what he said. You know, this is really unfortunate because this is a team that prides itself on its consistency. They may not have the most difficult routines, but they are consistent. Very unusual. Just the dismount. So a chance here for the U.S. team on the first rotation to uh, to build a bit of a lead. Next up, Vanessa Adler on vault, 15 years old. She has her own web page where she keeps a diary and gets about 2,000 hits a day on the Internet. You know, Tom, she should be able to score very well on this event. She's planning to do a double-twisting Yurchenko. The start value is 9.9. .9. Yes. Very nicely done. Just that small step back. Yeah, I'd say that's the only correction. She's planning to do the same vault twice. You know, it's unfortunate because this vault was valued out of a 10.0 last summer. I still think it's super difficult. It's unfortunate that it went down a tenth. Yeah, there is a lot going on right here. She leaves the horse, does one and a half flips and two twists. Just that small step on the landing, but that is some tough vaulting. Her first vault, 9.550. She just narrowly missed winning the American Cup, was second. In fact, won the vault competition there. Same vault. Oh, it was better. Wow. Better landing. She is so aggressive. I'm so impressed by her competitive toughness. Right. My dear, let's keep it going. Okay? All right, good job. Right. A man we haven't right. seen for a very long time in the background there, Bella Caroli, who's here, of course, coaching Dominique Mochianu. And taking an uncharacteristic back seat at this competition. Now back to the bar, Zungarano had an 8.70. And now up is Maria Olaru. Can't tell you how uncharacteristic it is to see a Romanian gymnast score below a 9.0. This is a must-hit situation. She could have a good set here. She hits all her release skills. Nice transition down to the low bar. That's called a pack salto. This is where most of the action takes place up on the high bar. Full twisting giant to Kachev. Very safe. Not a great deal of height. Of course, these guys cannot afford another fall. Big step. Wow, that was close. She almost went over on that. But at least no fall for the Romanians on bars, and that is a victory in itself given their disastrous start. Vanessa Atler of the U.S., 9.562 on her vault. Solaru had a 9 on the bars. 
So we move to the second rotation and our first look at the Chinese. The Chinese women, much like the Chinese men, a team of vast potential, but usually uh, unrealized potential. And also in that first rotation, Elfie, we didn't see Gina Gojian, who of Romania was the silver medalist in the all-around in Atlanta, but not competing in every event here. And Tom, it's so hard for me to believe that the coach would allow an athlete who won four medals at the Olympic Games to sit out in a rotation, especially because the Romanians had such a rough start on the uneven bars. I think they would have taken anything that Gina would have to <laughs> offer, and especially because Gina has been one of the most consistent athletes in Romania. And Tim, I just can't get used to seeing a U.S. team out there without uh, Shannon Miller, Dominique Dawes, and the other veterans. Well, it is a very different team and an inexperienced team, so a competition like this is very important for them. But what this U.S. team did that obviously Romania didn't is they went out and did their routines. No major mistakes on the first event. World Championships about five months away. These young athletes will be on the floor representing the USA. They need an experience of a meet like this to prepare for Switzerland. The Chinese had a bye in the first rotation. They'll be on the vault when we return.